Okay, this video should be short, thank goodness. Um, methane occurs when things decompose anaerobically. You should probably write this all down. Um, that's why you can light your farts, because when you break down carbon into the little pieces and there's no oxygen around, anaerobic, when you break down carbon and there's no oxygen, the carbons have hydrogen attached instead. When you break down carbon and there's oxygen, you get carbon dioxide, two oxygens, right? So like when you break down carbon in your blood, there's oxygen in your blood. So you breathe out carbon dioxide because you break down carbon with oxygen, you get CO2, you stick oxygens on it. But if there's no oxygen, anaerobic, you stick hydrogens to the carbon. That's how you make methane. So whenever things decompose, if there's no oxygen, you make methane, light your farts. Easy to remember. And something really neat happens if you have things decomposing anaerobically and you're making ice at the same time, you get methane hydrate. It is ice with methane in it because of anaerobic decomposition when there's ice being formed. There you go. Bottom of the ocean is really cold. Sometimes groundwater escapes or something. Bottom of the ocean, you've got groundwater spilling in, so that'll make ice because it's really cold. Surrounded by salt water, which doesn't freeze, but the fresh water will freeze. And if there is methane being made, it's trapped. I got to be clear, these aren't bubbles. It's not like you can see it with the naked eye. This is at the chemical level. Uh, you might know that when water molecules freeze, they have to line up in a certain way because water is a polar molecule. Maybe you know that. So I'm going to try to grow my screen for a minute. Give me just a sec. Okay. Here's me. And this is a model that shows you how water molecules arrange themselves. Uh, because water is a polar molecule. It's got like plus minus on one side. It's charged like a battery. You know how magnets like stick one way and push each other off the other way, polar. So the water molecule, H2O, lines up in a funny way. Um, this would not itself be on the AP test, but you just have to know that to, to, know, to, know, to know other. Um, and uh, by the way, that pattern of the water molecule, the shape of a water molecule, means that when you stick them all together, the only way that they can form a solid is based on a hexagon, which is why snowflakes are always based on a hexagon. Because there's no other way to make water into a solid. You probably know that when you freeze a water bottle, it explodes because the water expands to freezing. And you can kind of tell that this molecule has relatively large dead spaces because it's polar it has to like line up in a way that builds these big empty spaces. Methane is just carbon and hydrogen. So methane is really small. I'm using a hair clip that I found on the ground 20 years ago. Um, so methane is a really small molecule. And if you've got methane around, when water is freezing, you get this. Now, there's all sorts of physics and chemistry that I can't afford to teach you right now. So I need you to make some really clear notes. This is not a bubble. This is a molecule which is trapped. You know, like, like when you see magnets with something floating on top, it's trapped between the bonds of ice. That's called a hydrate. So this is methane hydrate. Okay, um, part that you would need in your notes. 
is that methane uh, is trapped in the formation of ice when there's decomposition happening and ice is being formed. Uh, this is relevant because if you can harvest this special ice, you can see a diagram similar to the one I showed you. If you can harvest this special ice, you could let the methane out. As a matter of fact, imagine the snowball fight. If you had burning snowballs, that photo is not fake. Uh, I have played with methane hydrate. It's super cool. It just looks like ice. Uh, you can shave it into snowballs. You can pack those snowballs. You can even feed them to my daughter when she was a little baby. Just kidding. I didn't. That, that's just plain snow. I got back from Mammoth and I brought her a bucket of snow to play with when she was a baby. All right. See how excited she was? So you should know, there's two types of methane hydrate. It's found in the Arctic and it's found in the bottom of the ocean. So they're called Arctic deposits and ocean deposits. There's lots and lots and lots of this all over the planet. There are huge deposits of this. And good news, bad news? Good news, holy crap, that's a lot of methane something like 10 times more than is trapped in rock is trapped in ice. I don't know the exact number, but there's a lot of it. Bad news. It's not really viable as an energy source because ice is super heavy and you have to keep it cold. And the Arctic is a tough place to work. And the bottom of the ocean is a tough place to work. So methane hydrate, not a really viable energy source. You have to know that. But I want you to remember that there's tons of methane trapped in ice when we talk about global warming. It's not relevant as an energy source. It's relevant in the sense that methane is a really hot greenhouse gas. And the world becomes a really scary place when you heat up the planet and release greenhouse gases that will further heat up the planet. Uh, methane hydrate is not an energy source. It's probably the scariest positive feedback loop of climate change, where global warming melts the stuff that's holding greenhouse gases that cause more global warming, that melt more stuff that's holding more gases that cause more positive feedback loop. And of all the things that we're worried about with global warming, this is the scariest. You should know that. I, I'll, I'll do this again when we get to the climate unit. Um, methane hydrate offers very, it's irrelevant as an energy source because of the clunkiness, but it's uh, extremely relevant. We'll talk about this later, about how methane was trapped in ice. Okay, we'll get to this. Um, I told you that would be fast. That's it for methane hydrate. Just scary. Um, okay, I'm done with that.